Right guys, we are back again with another video and today I'm going to show you guys uh, the new Android 11 update that has finally arrived here in my region. So this is the Galaxy Note 10 and also the Galaxy Note 10 Plus as well has received it. So if you go to the uh, settings here, you can see we have an update available. And this is uh, what we can see, the changes is very long. So One UI 3 and it comes with Android 11. And yeah, so you can see these are the information that they are giving us and a brief summary of what to expect. So you can read it for yourself. So I'm going to scroll down briefly here to show you guys what to expect from this update before you install it. So they said there's uh, some visual changes to the UI. And let's go down a bit. They say improve performance as well. We'll see about that as well. Improve uh, dynamic memory allocation. So apps run faster, they say. And better customization. Looks like we can add a... Uh, more image categories for the dynamic lock screen and also we can also have a better customization for the always on display and many more so a lot of things you can go ahead and read it for yourself so enhance features as well we have some changes to the lock screen and the home screen we have changes to the calls and chats it seems and scroll down more we have changes to the camera as well so now we can take a pictures even quicker now it says and we can also uh, find pictures and videos quickly with the new categories feature in the gallery and moving on to the settings you can see also a bunch of changes as well i think the ui is a bit different uh, as well in, in terms of the categories and so on so let's move on we have changes to the samsung keyboard if you do use the keyboard uh, there are some changes uh, made to this keyboard as well let's move on we have the productivity now so this one looks like it's related to the health balance between work and life it seems and you can go ahead and read all these things and let's see upstairs more things here a lot of things and i think that's about it for that one so let's go on easy media and device control now if you do use the uh, media devices feature it's very going to be very useful as well with these changes we have the identify and improve your digital habits with the new digital well-being feature on Android. So this is a nice thing. And accessibility changes as well for everyone. We also have strong privacy protection, additional improvements. So a lot of things you can read here. And I think yeah, Wi-Fi Direct no longer able to send. Okay, so now they're, they're sort of replacing Wi-Fi Direct with nearby share. So it's just another term that they're calling it in this Android 11. And it's lastly, they say you can no longer connect to Chromecast using your smart view. So you can use Google Home instead. So it looks like you have to use another device. You can't use uh, this device to connect to Chromecast anymore using smart view. And that's about it. So these are the change logs. And this is the software information. So you can expect to have 2 gigabytes of uh, size here to download the installers. And also we got security patch level of December that comes with it. And this is the uh, it's ending with uh, 6 ETLL. So this is the basement version. And that's it. So as usual guys, make sure to back up stuff before you upgrade. So I'm going to upgrade this now. And we have enough power. So we're going to go ahead and proceed and see what are the changes. Just pretty briefly uh, get used to the new uh, UI. So let's go ahead and install. So it should take about maybe 10 to 15 minutes depending on how many apps you have. So if you have more apps, then it will take longer time. So we're going to skip ahead until uh, this device reboots and everything is okay. And then I'll do another reboot to make sure everything is fine. And then we'll take a look at the changes to the UI and quickly have a look at what's the major changes as well. So guys, that's all for this segment. Let's move on to the next part, which will be after updating the device. Right guys, so we are back again in the second part of the video. So we have updated the device already. So it took about, about 15 to 20 minutes to update it. And now it's running Android 11 with One UI 3.0. So let's go to settings and show you guys quick changes. So about the device. Then we go to the software information over here. And you'll see I've updated to One UI version 3.0 and Android 11. So we're just going to show you guys the Easter egg just for fun. And there we go. So this is the Android 11 Easter egg. I'm not sure what else we can do with this. I think that's it. Yep. And go back. 
so this is my updated build number you can see and we go down scroll down i think we should be in the december patch which is nice so now let's take a look at some of the major changes in terms of the aesthetics of the ui so nothing major change actually just a couple of uh, tweaks and uh, enhancements so you can see the uh, you can see the notification panel now it's a uh, there's a blurred effect at the back now it's very nice and you scroll down one more time you can see the buttons are pretty much the same just that we have a blurred effect as you can see so it's a bit nice and if you go to the edit buttons i think yeah they gave us some new buttons here this is the enhanced processing button looks like it's to like boost the performance of the device and uh, let me just check the off button so this is the same as well and in the home screen the uh, pretty much identical uh only thing i noticed change is the weather widget is uh, i think you can centralize yeah you can uh the weather widget is a bit different now and the the device care uh, widget as well is different so if, if i go inside you take me to device care which is normal but if you go out you see the icon now is showing green and now it has a color so if it's gonna be full it show red which is nice and let's take a quick look at the uh, lock screen so the lock screen also has changed a bit so the figment scanner now has a bigger icon now it's a more fatter, fatter icon and the uh, the icons on the uh, for the phone and the camera is now uh, black and white it's no longer colored i'm not sure you can change this or not and if we think we click on the time it should be the same yep there we go it should be a time and music playing if there is any you can go to settings as well to change if you want so we go to settings so this is the new keypad when you unlock the device so if i enter my pin all right so this is the widget settings all right so let us go to the settings all right now we're in settings so you can see the ui is a bit different so last time i think uh, they don't show this one now they show it bigger now you, uh, wi-fi bluetooth every mode is pretty big now the icons are very big and we go back and see we have i think the it's all the same it's just the categorize it more differently now and easier to find the inner settings which is nice so we take a look and you can take a look at the digital well-being as well just for fun so this is a new uh, android update uh, the android feature that they are showing us it's pretty good to track your habits and the battery and device care i believe is pretty much the same let's take a, let's take a quick look so it does show your usage okay it has wireless power sharing as well that's okay that's, this, this is the reverse wireless charging it's the same one okay so done so if you go to the uh, app app tray so you can see the app list so the the folders are a bit different now so i think you can change to a different color so let's see yeah you can change to a different color or choose any color you want basically <laughs> uh that they given here a color wheel which is nice and yeah so it looks pretty nice actually the new ui So in terms of animations, uh, let's just open maybe the uh, all right settings now. So if I go home, so this is the animation. It's pretty much the same; it doesn't really change much. So yeah, that's the animations. Pretty sweet. I just love this uh, notification panel. It's nice, translucent. And if we go to the status bar and see, so we can tweak all these things if you want. So guys, uh, that's just a quick preview of the One UI 3.0. I know it's a bit early, uh, I didn't have much time to go through every single feature, but yeah, so this is a quick run through of the new update. And yeah, so it's finally available for download for the Galaxy Note 10 and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So both variants are now available to download in my region uh, it should roll out to other regions as well around the world eventually you should get it uh, on your device so this device is using the exynos version so this is uh, not the snapdragon version so just let you know and yeah so that's pretty much it guys for this video and i'll hope to see you guys in the next one peace